Alrighty, welcome to Scotty Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Holy moly, it's been a minute, huh? Damn. Well, it's good to be back in the car making videos. Probably the only video I do in a while again. <laughs> I don't drive a lot anymore. Anyway, today we are going to talk about uh, who the real creators of life are. Because we all know women love to take credit as the makers of life. We create it. Everything like that. You, you know how it goes. You've heard them. They love to take all the responsibility of that. Well, not all the responsibility. Uh, that's a different video. Anyway, so we're going to do a little math here, my friends. So I know the any of the ladies that are watching this, I know you're going to sit this one out because uh, we all know that you don't like math and you have your own girl math thing going on there. <laughs> oh, God, I'm such an asshole. But it's true. Anyway, we're going to do a little math, okay? So, women, every nine months, roughly, can have a child, right? Um... So, with, with this little hypothetical scenario, let's say uh, this, this woman starts having kids at 20 years old. We all know that they're usually viable before that, but we're going to keep it legal, <laughs> and we're going to keep it uh, just simple, simple math, okay? Now, up until about 40, some before, some after, that's when you start having the trouble having kids, it's like around that area. So I'm going to give them till 40 years old. We're going to go from 20 to 40 years old. Now it takes nine months to do the whole process, right? And generally, you don't get pregnant right after having a kid. Let's round it to a year. You're having one year, or one kid a year. Excuse me. So from 20 to 40 years old, one kid a year, this clown car vagina, <laughs> all right, can make 20 people, right? 40 minus 20 is 20, all right. One kid a year. Now, let's switch over to the men. Let's start at the same age, 20 years old. Um, now, Life expect expectancy has gotten longer. So I think for guys it's 76, 75, 77, somewhere in there. And women's just a little older, like 78, 79, something like that. But again, for simplicity, I'm gonna I'm gonna round up to 80. 20 years old to 80 years old, because a guy can make kids until the day he fucking dies. And don't believe all this hogwash about like, oh, it's harder for men to have kids too. No, it's not. No. Now, men can have more than one child a year. <laughs> all right? Uh, but even if we were to go with that, that's still 60 years. That's still 60 people compared to 40. All right? Right. Okay, but since a man makes millions of sperm a day, right, we're going to say that he has, now this is a magical Christmas land, okay, <laughs> he has access to a different woman every day between 20 and 80. All right, now I know that's not realistic. I'm just saying the hypothetical here, what can happen. It's, it's to show how much uh, more, I guess, how much, how many more people a man could make in this situation, okay? Now let's say he's got a different woman uh, for every day uh, uh, between 20 and 80 years old, okay? 
365 days a year. Yeah, there's leap years. We're not going to deal with that. We're keeping it simple. Okay. Now, 365 times 60 is 21,900. Think about that. In a man's life, if he had access to a different woman every day for his whole life, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of happy for him, but I'm kind of like, oh boy, that's a lot of fucking. <laughs> I would want some time off. But anyway, that's not the point of this. Between 20 and 80, 365, one woman every day, one different woman every day, that's almost 22,000 people that guy could make. 40 people? Nearly 22,000 people. Who's really the creator and sower of life. That's right. It is men. Even if we go back and he only has one new woman a year. Right? One new woman a year. That's still 60 people compared to 40. Who's really able, who's really able to make more life here? All right. Now, if we go to like a deserted island kind of thing, everybody knows that the the ideal situation would be more females and less males. Everybody knows that. if it's ten guys and one chick, that that group's fucked. But if it's one guy and ten chicks, still kind of fucked because you're gonna get some genetic makeup mess up stuff but let's say there's four guys and ten chicks four guys four males ten ten females that's gonna work that's going to be able to work and let's bring it back to the matrix movie where we got that whole the red pill what we call the red pill all right we go back to that even the fucking architect who would wipe out Zion, restart it. I think, what did he say? Six males and 13 females, or seven males and 13 females? Even that fucker knew <laughs> you need more females than males. <laughs> it all works together. It all ties together. What do you think? Who's the real creators of life? Who can make more life. Let me know in the comments below. Share it, like it, you know, or don't. I don't care. I'll talk to y'all later. I love you all. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves, please. Only got this one life, guys. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.